can assist you or tutor you more. If you have more questions, just email me. And the tension in each cable and the components of reaction of D needed to support the load. Right, this question is really um, similar to question 66. Um, it's actually well, a little easier than that because a lot of things cancels out in the end. Um, but it's relatively a difficult one, you know, it requires you to use the moments in 3D uh, methods to solve the problem. But uh, yeah, let's get started. So it's always nice to write out the Cartesian form of a force when you're doing 3D moments. It's, it's you know, always a good thing because it will help you a lot uh, later on. All right, so let's write out what TB is. All right, TB is the magnitude of TB times the mu net vector of the rope, the direction, right? So that should be negative six. Well, it went backwards by six, the x went backwards by six. Um, negative three. Uh, y went backwards by negative three, right over here. And x, it went upwards by two. So this is two, right? And this is. Well, it's 36 times plus 9, 35, 45 plus 4, 49. The square root of that gives you 7. Right. And uh, do the same thing for TC, tension of the C. Uh, magnitude of TC times um, square root of TC is, it, did, it had negative 6, right? Um, y didn't change, so it's 0. And x is two, so the same as uh, same as TB. Over thirty six plus four is the square root of forty. So square root of forty. This is zero, so you don't have to write that. Square root of forty. And this is the you know i j k uh, components, right? And we can also do for the forty four hundred forces over here. There's an x and y, to, you know, uh, components of that. X, Y, and Z, to be honest, is um, nothing is moving in the X direction, so that's zero. This is really nice. See, when, when two forces are zero, have two zeros or two different components, is it, excuse me, is a really good sign, right? And for well, this 30, find the Y direction, so times sine of 30, 400 times sine of 30, that is just 200. Newtons. And if you go over here, times the cos 400 times the cosine of 30, put in your calculator, it should give you 346 uh, newtons. And this is going into the negative direction, right? Going downwards. Y is going into the positive. All right, so now we have everything. Let's use the sum of the force method, right, to list everything out. So sign some of the forces in the x direction. There's the TB, uh, magnitude of TB times um, its X components, uh, plus the TC, tension SC, times the, uh, its X, sorry, its X components, same as over here. Let me rewrite this real quick. Um, it's X over here. And um, plus zero, 400 doesn't have anything, um, but there is a dx, right? There's a dx. And this whole thing equals to zero. And some of the forces in y direction, um, still tension at b equals you know, uh, times this y direction plus zero over here and uh, plus 200 newtons. Uh, plus dy, right, plus dy. And over here is f in the z direction. That would just gives you, let's see, tb. Uh, wait, tb, yep, tb still has my component. times 2 over 7, hey, there's a positive now, and uh, tension at TC um, times 2 over square root of 40, right, and then minus 346 newtons 
n plus dizzy. Yeah, it really is making me dizzy. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Anyway, so yes, we have some of the forces all together. Um, now we have to use the moments, right? Some of the moments. Now we use some of the moments at A, it will give us two unknowns with one equation, so we can't do that because we don't know what dy and dz equals. So um, let's use uh, moments at D, some of the moments at D instead I'm gonna do over here. Some of the moments, some of the moments at D, um, is equal to zero. So this shouldn't be this hard. Uh, we really can just use, um, since all three forces are coming from one direction, um, you know, here's a little trick, right? If a for, if there are X amount of forces coming from a point, then you can summarize all of that force into one force. Right, so we can just use all of this thing we just did over here. So use all of this over here and get rid of the dx, dy, and dz, right? And just use the force over here uh, as the moment. So that would be i, j, and k. And over here, because, so what are we doing, right? So this force is coming over here and the distance from the force is starting the force to the um, the moments, the point that we're trying to calculate. And that is just um, six meters right over here in the x direction. So here is just six, zero, zero, right? And this is, and this thing over here would just be the sum of the fx uh, minus dx, uh, sum of the f y minus d y and some of the f uh, z minus d z right and because we write this way instead of writing the whole long equations uh how to solve a three by three matrix so hopefully by this point you will know how to do it uh here's a one over here so that's one times cover these two letters and this times this minus this times this, so i equals zero, right? i equals zero. And now it's the one in front of the j, right? One times cover these two uh, numbers, so six times this number minus this times this. So six, so it's really just um, over here. I would write it over here, okay? Let's write it over here. So this thing over here it will just be so cover this, sorry, this times this, minus this times this, right? So for I, yeah, I'm going, not just letter, but this row, right, the I row. So six times whatever this in front of the Z over here, this whole thing minus the DX, right? Six minus uh, TB, minus TB times two over seven plus uh, TC, times 2 over 40 and uh, minus 346 equals to 0, right? Because the sum of the moments are 0, each component should also equal to 0. And the K, cover these two, uh, cover these two, so 6 times this minus this times 0. So 1, there's a 1 in front of the K, right? So it's 1 times um, 6 times the Fy, so it's Tb times negative 3 over 7 plus 0 plus 200 uh, newtons, and this thing equal to 0. And this is a really good sign, right? Because this equation, one equation with one unknown, we're trying to find Tb here, right? This is not 11 Tb, it's the magnitude of Tb, tension of B. This will get, find, give us Tb, right? And for this, we can find Tc over here. And then with TC, we can find the rest of the DX, DY, and DZ. So we're finally getting somewhere. Um, let's do this. So um, divided by 6 by both sides, because 0 divided by 6 equal to 0. So TB, if you plug into your calculator, right, 200 uh, times 7 divided by 3, 
divided by negative 3, I mean, plus 3, right? You move this to the other side. Um, so, yeah, move this to the other side, becomes positive. Uh, times 7 divided by 3, 200 times 7 divided by 3. So I'm getting, repeating myself, TB should give you 467 uh, newtons, right? So once you you find out what TB is, you plug it back in here to the other equation, um, divided by 6 by both sides, get rid of it, and um, let's go back over here. And so, yeah, this gives you a number. The TB times 2 over 7 gives you a number. Uh, this minus that move to the other side and times square root of 40 divided by 2 right make you know simplify uh, make it TC on one side of the equation so TC should give you plug that into a calculator should give you 673 uh, Newtons right beautiful so now if we plug this and this equation into FZ and TZ and plug it over here. DZ should give you zero. If you plug everything in, it actually gives you zero. And if you plug this here over here, uh, DY would also give you zero. And if you plug TB and TC over here, uh, DX should give you, what is DX if you put that into a calculator? It should give you one, a thousand and 38.4 newtons and um, let's plug everything back over here TB is 467 uh, TC is 673 three significant figures this is 1.04 kilo newtons zero newtons and zero newtons um, yeah if you're very lucky like me the first time that I was trying to do the problem I said dy and dz equal to zero because my brain wasn't working right. I thought these two would just cancel it out equal to zero, so these forces must equal to zero. Extremely illogical, but I was able to get the right answer in the end. Uh, if you're like me, don't be that happy, right? Try to really know how to solve these problems because the next time when you're on the exam, you probably won't be that lucky. Um, so yeah, this is a really nice equation. I mean, we really didn't have to use matrix that much. Uh, it's a lot simpler. That's really nice, everything cancels out in the end. So um, yeah, hopefully this is a good question for you to review your test. And um, yeah, usually professor doesn't really give problems like this on the exam because it's so easy to make a mistake. And also it takes forever, right, to do one problem. And they only have an hour and 30 minutes. So they're not gonna, you know, this problem takes me about what, 20 minutes to solve. You know, it's just all like, keeping everything in track. If you're super smart, maybe you do it all the last time. Right, if you make one mistake, you go back and cost you have forever to finish it. But anyway, hopefully it was a big help. Um, good luck on your studies, and uh, hopefully I'll see you in my future videos. Bye. If you have more questions, uh, specific questions you would like me to do, please comment in the comment section down below.